everybody, I'm Miss Dara, and today we're going to do Sublime Slime. So, we're going to do Donut Slime today, and we're going to do, it's for Alice in Wonderland. She did cake, and so we're going to just kind of go off of that a little bit and do donuts, because I like donuts. So, the first thing we want to do, we're going to use a different kind of glue today. This is Glue All Glue. It's a little bit thicker than just white school glue. So we're gonna use that instead because we want our slime to be a little bit thicker today. So I'm gonna use a half a cup of glue. And so when I'm measuring this out, I do a little bit extra, kind of overflow it because I want to, I know I'm not gonna get it all out and I wanna make sure I get my half a cup. So. And I'm going to pour out most of it into one bowl, and then I leave just a little bit in the thing and pour that into the other bowl. Because we don't need much. And you scrape it out as well as you can. Okay, so... Side here so it doesn't leak all over the tablecloth. All right, so I've got just a little bit of glue in one bowl, and I have a lot of glue in the other bowl. So in the one with a lot of glue, we're going to add three tablespoons of cornstarch. So just measure this out. One, two, Three, and that doesn't have to be exact measurements, so you need to mix that in. Cornstarch, you have to be kind of careful when you're doing it because it kind of poofs up in your face if you're not really careful. Okay, so we mix this in. It takes a little bit of mixing here. To get it all good and mixed in. And it changes the texture a little bit, makes it a little bit more thick. Okay, then I'm going to add food coloring, and we want this to be brown. And so I'm going to add quite a bit of brown because I want mine to be dark. be a dark chocolate. And that looks pretty dark. Okay, the next thing we're going to add is I have some chocolate scent because I want my donut to smell like chocolate. So you pour that in there. And it smells like chocolate. It smells really good. Mix that in. Okay. Okay, then we're going to switch to our other bowl. I'm just going to set that to the side. We have just a little bit of glue here, and we're going to add to it a little bit of baby oil because we want it to be shiny. So you mix that in there. It's kind of hard to mix in because there's so little of it. And then we're also going to add in some, not chocolate, strawberry. And we're also going to add in a little bit of pink. Okay. 
notice this line, well, it's just glue right now, it runs really, really good and fast. This other one is thicker and it doesn't, like it's a little bit stiffer and thicker when you run it. Okay, so now we are going to add our liquid starch. So we're just using Stayflow liquid starch and we're going to take a fourth a cup of liquid starch. So we're gonna add about half of a fourth a cup. So that would be an eighth of a cup into this one and stir that in. And so if you remember when we're doing our slime, we have a few slime rules. So our first slime rule, you guys can probably all say these with me by now, but you don't wanna stick your slime on anybody else because it doesn't come off really well. Um, so don't put it in your hair, don't put it on your clothes, don't put it in your carpet. If you do get slime on something, your mom and dad can help you um, get slime out by using just regular white vinegar or some slimes you have to use peroxide. If it doesn't come out with vinegar, try peroxide. This one should come out with vinegar. And sometimes you have to let it soak. And if it's got a lot of color in it, it sometimes doesn't take all the color out. It might stain something. But, okay, as you see, the liquid starch, that didn't really make it slime yet. So we're gonna add in about half of an eighth a cup, a sixteenth here. Mix that in. So, slime made with cornstarch makes a type of butter slime, but it's a little bit different because it's kind of like oobleck, if you know what oobleck is, if you've made it with me before. Um, Ublick is just cornstarch and water, and it is a non-Newtonian fluid, just like slime is. But when you like push on it or you apply pressure to it, then it is hard. But if you let it just rest, it's runny. And so, like you can pick it up in a ball, and it's hard. But then you just let it sit in your hand; it oozes. Well, when you mix cornstarch with glue and make slime with it, it kind of makes it even more um, like that than normal. So, it's kind of got more of an oobleck texture to it than slime usually does. Okay. I'm gonna let that one sit for a minute and go back to this one. So this one, I'm not even gonna measure this. I'm just gonna add just a little bit because it's such a little amount of glue. see here it's just a little bit and it's coming together so all in all I probably added like a sixteenth of a cup of glue can touch your slime and it doesn't stick to you then you know it's good to touch so this one is actually pretty good it's just a little bitty amount but still a tiny bit sticky here in all these pieces you just kind of if you have pieces stringing out you just kind of mix them to the middle okay 
and it was a little bit sticky when I first pulled it out of the bowl but now as you can see it's actually not bad okay so I'm gonna try to pick up some of this extra that I've got in my bowl because I always like to get as much out of the bowl as I can that way when I wash my bowl I don't have to throw away a lot of slime and because this is such a little amount of glue you want to get all of it that you can so okay so there we go there's our pink it's all done and it's very shiny because of the baby oil in it and it's nice and stretchy so we're gonna let that one set and go back to this other one because it wasn't quite done so as you see it looks like chocolate pudding but definitely not slime yet together. Okay, let's see how sticky this is. It's actually not bad. too bad it's still a little sticky all right so I'm gonna add me some more liquid starch and just mix it in it As you can see it's all coming together pulling off the sides of the bowl really good it took a little bit more liquid starch and sometimes the humidity in the air it's really humid today when it's more humid sometimes your slime takes a little bit of extra stuff to come together but as you can see this one is really coming together it smells like chocolate Got a little bit more here So we have our chocolate slime and then we have our pink slime. And I forgot to put my sprinkles over here. Um, okay, so I have um, nice chocolate slime here. So we're just going to do this on the table. So you can just take, I don't really need this much to make one donut, so I'm gonna split this in half. And it looks like it's really sticky, but it really comes right off my hands. So it's just the way this slime is. Okay, I'm gonna put that back in the bowl and just have this little bit here. And we're gonna take our pink slime here, which is so pretty. And I'm going to take, it's just a little round thing. You can use anything you can find. And I'm just going to cut out a piece of the slime so that I have a donut here. Make my bowl, my hole a little bigger. And this doesn't last very long. Then you just take your pink and put it on top of it. And then you take sprinkles and sprinkle on top. Of that. You have to watch because your hole will kind of close. So, And there I have my great big flat donut. So that's how you make donut slime. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.